What up, what up, everybody? Going live again today with Santos. We're going to have a new friend joining us today, Andrew, Mr. Astrotheology 5. Santos is the original Mr. Astrotheology. He's going to be coming on here in just a moment. I am rocking my no choice. No choice. We have no choice but to protect ourselves in this matrix. I'm rocking my no choice silver lined jacket right now keeping protected from the frequencies from all the emfs y'all saw that video the other day i like your hair too thank you santos hop on bro go ahead and request to join andrew you request to join after santos hops on bro um gonna explain all this everyone stay tuned Okay, hold on, Andrew. Yo, y'all stay right there. <clears throat> okay. There we go. There's Santos. Okay. Santos. Oh, there we go. Hey. Hey, brother. Hey. How are you, bro? Pretty good. Good. Looking good. A little bit tired, uh, but um, in general, I'm plugging along. Hey, man. You know, I'm finding that's the collective right now. A lot of people are just, like, feeling it. We're feeling a lot of movement. Um, I've been asking around just about everywhere. To see if they are spraying heavily, basically wherever anyone lives, you know, we're talking about the chemistries, and pretty much everyone is saying that that's the case, that they're just spraying, like, heavier than ever. The healthiest people that I know are having mild sore throats, um, mild fatigue, you know, they're bouncing back from it real quick, 24, 48 hours. But this is a theme that I'm seeing across the planet right now. And this is one of those topics that we're going to talk about. You know, this new fake um, blank X, you know, blank, blank X. I'm not going to label it or say it on here. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I think that has a lot to do with these chemtrails. You know, heavy metals, guys. It's all heavy metals. And that's what they're spraying up there, these heavy metals. And the sun dimming, too. Yes, Mr. Astral Theology, you're going to come on and talk about that. Um, uh, so Santos, we're going to have on Andrew here in a moment and he's going to share his Perium testimonial. Um, as far as I know, he's been watching you for years, kind of saw, heard about Perium from my voice is distorted. If someone's saying, okay, let me turn my music all the way down. Heard about Perium from these lives and got excited, got himself some product shared the product with people so far in Europe. He's loving it. These people are loving it. He's going to hop on, share his story. Andrew, I'm going to welcome you on now, brother. Um, Andrew is also an astrologer, Santos. Um, he's going to break down his whole chart and everything to us. Okay. Okay. Yo, 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 Andrew. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Santos, can you hear him? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. How's it going, guys? What's up? So good. Thank you. First of all, I appreciate the invitation. And a uh, couple of reasons why I'm here. I'm on the same vibe pretty much as you. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't talk much about about myself. You can watch my profile. You can watch my highlights. Well, well, and, well uh, real, real quick, bro, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Um, number one, how did you hear about Santos? How long have you been following Santos? How long have you been studying astrology, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? I've been following Santos for more like 12, maybe 13 years. And I remember his old videos back in the time when he was not a flat earther yet. <laughs> That's the funny thing. But yeah, I was binge watching the stuff. Then I, I created some IG after I got deleted some Facebook profiles. And I got to know to Divine Being and you. Okay. Okay, that's awesome. How yeah. I, that's how oh, I got yeah. connected to Purium. That's how I got connected to Purium for sure. And 
couple of stuff about me. me. I don't consume anything that has grain, blood and heart. I uh, completely switched like four or five years back to the plant-based diet. And I can say that I haven't lost a pound. So it's basically about your vibration, about your thoughts and what reality you create in your brain. So I'm pretty sure you know about this. So basically what I am, I would define myself as a silence, you know, you can feel it from me. You can feel that I am a legacy for the people that have no choice to come through the amount of information that we are putting out, you know, because everybody has its own field and I'm in the bubble of nutrition and the health of the avatar of all meditations and stuff like that, you know, so I can help with grounding. I can help you with biohacking, with, the, with electroculture, crystal meditations you know all kinds of stuff so a huge door opening way in uh, this year of dragon so yes i'm glad we are here we're connected absolutely bro absolutely and we were talking about this you know you're you're on the same vibe yeah as, as santos and i you know it's literally vibe tribe out here and <laughs> yeah man love the fire you're sitting by oh. too. Hey, hey look me too man <laughs> let, let, let me show you mine yeah mine? i was shopping food for three days is dwindling at the moment you see here my fire yeah yeah we need to so add I'm some gonna... log logs baby huh we need to add some logs on there well now well, yeah. well it's 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 warm now it's in the, you're good it's very cold in about an hour yeah but those, those, those embers there <laughs> i got not lots of nice wood to uh just sit on that and that, that'll just it's it's kept that house warm all day i haven't put logs in it since the morning brilliant awesome yeah and and hey guys about health if you can if you can get yourself a wood fire in your home rather than electrical appliance heating and try and get a fireplace guys it, look um i went to i went to bed last night right and um i was feeling that, that itching coming on and i thought oh no man it's 11 o'clock no i don't want to be tortured with itch again because because remember it came back in april last year i i got rid of it for six, i got rid of it for six months in puerto morelos and i thought it was gone i thought i'm not going to see that itch ever again you know get up here to the mountains and in april last year the itch comes back you know so anyway last night um <clears throat> at, at that time i got up and i thought i'm gonna do something different man i'm not i'm not gonna let myself be tortured awesome so as i said i want i want um there was there was a coldness it's pretty cold here i haven't had the log fire on for about a month I, this this is the first time I've had it on last night and I did it because the itch was coming on. I knew I wasn't going to sleep, right? I didn't want to do something nasty, like go for a Valium or something, because in the past I've had to just, just to get, get a night of sleep. It, yeah. You know, it, it's been, it's been, um, I mean, I can say right now that my health is the best it's ever been, you know, um, my vitality, my my energy it's beautiful my sleep my sleep is good when i don't itch um but the, the point is what i want to make is that if you can get a wood fire the wood the wood fire just being near it is solar energy it's pure solar energy the itch went away and after about an hour i fell asleep on my couch here behind me here and, and the fire was blaring there and I had, um, and I was, I slept there I, and I dreamt there and, and it was beautiful. And, and I didn't itch because of the fire. That's amazing. Santos. I just saw a video about this the other day about how a fireplace or when you have a fire that is mimicking solar energy, it's just like being in front of the sun. Your eyes think it's the sun. You know, there's so many meditative aspects to just looking at a fire and just staring into a fire that's good for you mentally, but also physically as well. So of course you felt so good doing that. It's amazing. And 
you're in your element there, obviously. Oh, <laughs> uh, look. Uh, That's a big part of it. I, I have to be really, really grateful for where I am. I have to be really grateful. I mean, there's lots going on in the world. And if you if you're tuning in to that, you know that, that there are many people who are not having a beautiful, you know, a beautiful house to live in, in a beautiful country, beautiful people that I love since I was, I mean, I started learning Spanish when I was freaking uh, 13. Mm. It was my third language. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Mexican and in, in 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 in, uh, in in spirit, really, but I mean, sometimes I don't stop and think. This, you know, I mean, <laughs> there are times when I feel like I'm worthless. I wake up and I feel like I'm just worthless, you know, or, or um, meaningless. But then I just stop and think, you know, how beautiful and marvelous life is that we breathe, that we can see. You know, we can use, use our arms and we have intelligence and imagination. Imagination is God. That's God, isn't it? Absolutely. So Absolutely. I'm starting to be more grateful and um, I'm learning to be more conscious, breathing and smiling more. I find that if you consciously breathe and smile. Yes. It's just, it's, it's bliss. And then. The other thing I want to say, apart from the solar energy that you should get every day or get a fireplace, you know, with good wood, uh, a, a squeezing your diaphragm with your perineum, squeezing them together, touching them. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, like, like you, you suck. Shit, man. <laughs> so you, you suck. You suck that in, yeah. And that's your solar plexus, right? Yeah. That, that's why Bruce Bruce Lee is always, you know, doing this, and he's always sucking. He's because he's charging his solar plexus. But mm. if you pinch your perineum with it and hold them together while you're consciously breathing and smiling, you you create a magnetic field, which you, you can feel actually the field, but yeah. you you you. You're now, you're spinning it. You're really spinning that magnetic field. Mm -hmm. We're all at, are you we're essence? All at a, dif a different frequency. That's why when you, when you meet some people that have a very low, you know, they've got a lot of demonic energy around them, um, your frequency bumps with theirs. It's very bumpy. You know, it's like you can feel the heavy energy. They're not, there's, they're not christened and light and enlightened and, and, um, I don't think they're grateful. Um, Big point right there. I mean, I mean, <laughs> there are people, children perishing, the people trafficking, um, <clears throat> in in wars. There's genocides going on, and then yet, and yet at the same time. We have to be grateful because whatever experience that you know that these people are going through, um, there's there's a reason. Yeah. And none of none of their none of their suffering will ever go unheard or rewarded or or, or um, recompensed. Mm. You know, it's like you know. To, to get a reward, for instance, to be to get the uh, gold medal at the Olympics, you've got to sacrifice a lot. You you've got to go to the swimming pool every day, you know, swim and swim and swim and swim. You you, <laughs> you got to work at it, and you get that goal. You know, so um, I I think we you're getting a little blurry, by the way, Santos. I don't know if there's um oh, something up no. with your connection or. Something. It's not. Is it the camera? Um, Is that uh, it? It's it's okay. It's just a little blurry. 
Wow, that's interesting. I don't know what happened to Andrew. I'm going to write him on Instagram really quick. Andrew, go ahead and hop back on. Yeah, make sure if you prop it up, bro, it won't, uh, it won't give problems. Um, so yeah, bro, thousand percent agree with you. Imagination is God. Uh, Neville Goddard, if you guys have not heard of Neville Goddard, please look up Neville Goddard. His books will change your life forever. Number one, number two, gratitude is the number one emotion to connect us to the divine. Think about it. When you are ungrateful for something, you're mad. You're pissed off. You are not in a good vibration. You are not happy about the experience. You're not in the present. You are not grounded. You are not none of the above. None of it. When you're ungrateful. When you're grateful, you're grounded, you're growing, and you're grateful. You, you want to be having these three G's in your life. Grounded, grateful, and growing. But you have to be grateful to be grounded and growing first. It's, it's, the great, it's the gratitude that brings the groundedness and the growing. It's the gratitude. Because the gratitude is what gives you the recognition of the opportunity to then hop on the opportunity. If you're not grateful for the opportunity, you'll never hop on it. You'll never have a smile. You'll never take a chance. You'll be that one that, that was given the talents and sat on his talents. And this is why the father took away his talents, because he did nothing with it. Instead of investing in them because if you don't use it you lose it see Santos is having these um, um, paradigm shifts right now about his gratitude and where he is and his gifts and his skill sets and given everything that's going on in the world guys we should all have this amount of gratitude that we are not if you are not in one of those types of situations number one but number two Steve Jobs said if you live each day as if it was your last one day you'll most certainly be right and right now every single one of us should be living like that Every single one of us. We have no reason not to. No reason not to operate with gratitude for every single breath, step, opportunity, connection, all of it. Your spirit asked you to come play this game, so play it. That's what knowing your natal chart does. That's what, you know, um, um, fueling your body with living superfoods like the power shake that Santos is drinking right now does. You know? Yeah, because because we need we need fuel to perform, right? I'm getting it on my beard too. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, brother. Um, I'm basically living off that. Um, that's all I've had because I'm up in Me up here in Mexico where I get a lot of good organic food. I I put banana and um, papaya with the seeds in the smoothies with all the purium goodies as well. So I'm just it's it's fruit all day long. I'm I'm pretty much I'm pretty much frugal. That's it. Yep. I mean, uh, uh, fruitarian. I was frugal. We're, we're, humans are frugal. Period. Right. I mean, fruitarian. So um, I'll put some soaked walnuts in there sometimes. Um, chia seeds. So there's there's a bit of seeds and stuff. Seeds seeds are okay because they're from fruit. Okay. Yep. So um. Yeah, um, I'm pretty much living on that, and I'm not losing. I'm not losing any any body mass, any weight. I'm, and uh, the other thing I'm eating uh, is uh, mono meals. So last night, for instance, I had a whole pineapple for dinner. <laughs> mm, awesome, love it. <laughs> and that's that's what's going to put you on the highest vibration, Santos. You know, when I was first getting into veganism. Or going plant-based i saw this gentleman he made a video talking about how fruits are the most natural thing for humans to consume why number one they offer themselves to us freely they fall from a, from a tree freely when they're ready perfectly ripe. there's no plucking no cutting no nothing it just falls number one number two if it doesn't fall it's causing you to reach up to the heavens Whereas if we're dealing with roots, we're reaching down. You know, 
do you need to root yourself? Do you need to ground yourself? Everyone's in a different state of where they are in their life. But when your bacteria is balanced and you have a clean digestive system and you're not dealing with all these heavy metals, having to go through all this de detoxification process, you want to be living on fruit. When you're balanced and you're clean, you want to be having electricity and hydrating yourself. Because fruit has H3O2, which is more of a slime, not a water. And that H3O2 is what truly hydrates your cells if you're not drinking hydrogen water. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm not, um, I'm drinking way less hydrogen, molecular, molecular hydrogen as well, because I use fresh coconut water in all, all my smoothies and mm. have them every day when I'm not fasting, every day. Um, <clears throat> so it's pretty interesting you know i relied a lot more on heavier things like chickpeas or beans or some rice you know like some brown, brown rice and, and things like that uh, I'm, I'm i'm just i think i'm grain free totally now i, I i'm not at all into grain basically you know? there's a few grains in the power shake but they're grown properly and and harvested properly that's the thing about the power shake guys about Perium guys is you can have different things in Perium that you probably wouldn't have anywhere else. Why? Because they were grown properly. They were in the proper soil. There's naturally occurring fulvic acid in all of our soil. You know, so for people who are only getting uh, their fulvic acid and shilajit, well, that's great. You should definitely have shilajit. Definitely get, you know, some fulvic zeolites, but you can also get it in your soil if your food is grown properly. Um, um, Mr. Astro Theology, go ahead and request to join again, bro. S Santos, we're going to have him on. He's going to talk about what he loves so much about the product so far. Uh, his phone cut out. Bro, real quick, go yeah. through what you love about the products. Aminos, well, what, the power shake, what, the what, 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 power. No, yes. Aminos, after sauna and after massage, I take like five or ten pieces. Depends on what training I have. And then I use psyllium a lot i use chia seeds and for regeneration i use walnuts and dates and the papaya seeds dried papaya seeds mixed with beetroot are great for for parasite cleanse i found out too and i always do parasite cleanse when the moon i repeat again when the moon enters your sun sign you should listen and i've learned that from santos it's the period takes six days because you not only take the cell salts for your sun sign, but also for the two following. For example, when somebody is born Aries, he takes Aries and the next following. So which means Aries, Taurus and Gemini. And you can find out all these on universaltruthschool.com. They are the great synchrota wheels. You can download them in, the, in high resolution. I printed them out physically so I can learn from them and teach other stuff. So this stuff works because you can detox your body naturally. You don't need anything. You just need the right information. That's all. Everything is for free, basically. Yeah, you're looking to. You're looking great too, Thank brother. Uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, yeah, yeah. Andre. 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 With a J. Andre. Where? You, yeah. Where are you Slovak from? Where? Slovakia, from Europe. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. But I've been living, I've been in Seattle in 2005. I've been in Squim for like one year in, a, in a school. It was high school, basically, when I was like 15. And then I went to Port Angeles and I was living in, in Austria a couple of years. And then I went back here. And also... Uh, Andre, oh, sorry, bro. Yeah. Um, you are also a personal trainer yes, as yes, well, yes. correct? Yes, I've been doing mobility coaching for 13 years and I've met all kinds of guys, people who are eating like all kinds of proteins and supplements and steroids, you know, and none of them made it through, you know, some, some point, you know, some breakthrough because they all got stuck somewhere and they couldn't move because their body was full of acidity. And I tell this to clients, you, you cannot take that much dead stuff in you because it's gonna get stuck mm. because imagine if you eat three or four big meals full of meat and potatoes and starch and you're not going to poo five days five times a day sorry you know so you need to because the organs they filter what everything you eat so 100 percent 
going low dense is the answer, at least for me, because I've been doing weightlifting for 15 years professionally, and I coach people who go deadlifting 300 kilograms, you know, and none of them eats, for example, two or 300 grams of protein per day. That's utter bullshit. It's okay for the doctors because they prescribe you stuff, you know, they prescribe you stuff. Yeah. Um, um, Andre, talking about protein, bro, I seen this video the other day, uh, mentioning that, that, and I don't know how true it is, but it goes in alignment with what you're saying. Um, that 60% of the protein, mo the protein powders isn't digested. It's actually converted into sugar yes. in the colon. And then that's literally like asking yourself for colon cancer yes, by this, constantly yes. having these protein shakes yes. that is converted to sugar in the digestive system, number one, number two, especially if it's whey, even more more mucus forming um if, yes yes but if you realize that every kind of meat what people are saying that you need to eat it for strength it's secondary protein because for example the pig eats grass to get meat every, every meat is built on grass mostly yeah. and when i when somebody asks me about the animals i tell them what's the biggest animal with the, with the muscle ratio it's a whale it's a gorilla it's a some kind of hippo it's elephant they are big, you know, and they eat grass. So I'm totally cool with this, you know. Um, it's enough when I deadlift three, uh, three times my body weight. I can squat three times my body weight and I don't train on strength. I just do it because I need my body to be flexible, you know. Mm. I, I do regular cold baths. I can go well, into rivers when it's freezing. What so is that? What is three times your body weight, if you don't mind sharing with everyone? Three times my body weight. My body weight is 74 kilograms and I can deadlift like 230 kilograms right now. If I would go for preparation, I could do like 270, but it's, it's yeah. just a discipline. You know? to, right? It's like, yes, I don't need exactly. it. No, no, I don't need it. There's, I don't need there's it. no competition yes. here. We're just, you know, lifting to be fit, yes. to be the best version of ourselves. People, exactly. people need to realize you need to, you need to do anything you want. It's, it's different what price you pay. You know, I can deadlift 300 kilograms, but it will cost me, for example, a thousand euros because I need to go to therapy, massage, sauna, and I, in, I need to be one week home. You know, because it hurts the body, <laughs> as better said. So, Santos, you've talked about how much you love the aminos. Andre, could you talk about how much you love the aminos yeah. and what they're doing for you, as well as who yes, you yes, I, them with? It's really good for regeneration. I, I take them after sauna and after training, and usually before sleep, before may, maybe like seven or eight o'clock, because I I go I go to sleep every day like ten o'clock because I go I I wake up early, so. From the products I received, taking them before sleep. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, but but of course, we build we build muscle while we're sleeping. Of course, That's yes. Be because okay. the the biggest the biggest regeneration and rebuild uh, it happens when the body is off, when you don't move, because all the energy can be can be processed to muscle regeneration. So that's why I take also magnesium before sleep, and I take uh, how is it called? I don't know. That's in English language, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it, it, say, say it in your language, Santos might know it. It's a national root. Uh, oh, it's, uh, pupa, it's Pupava. Pupava. No, never heard of it. <laughs> well, People think it's uh, what, what is your native tongue? My, Slo Slovakian, my native tongue obviously. Is Slovakian, yes. Uh, it's course, almost yeah. kind of like Russian, but it's a little bit different. A okay. little bit different. Okay. Andrea, you're looking very Laburn. Are you Laburn? Uh, I'm Aquarian. What's your? I'm Aquarian, and my my rising is in uh, Pisces, and my moon is in Capricorn. And I'm num I'm born number three. I'm 89, so uh, that means me life number five. He, he wants to see life. he wants to see the full your full fa face, right? Ah. <laughs> uh, so you're sorry. What did you say, Aquarian? Okay, yeah. so um. What's your rising uh, sign? Uh, rising sign is uh, Pisces. It's, it's Pisces and Aries, right in the middle. Pisces and Aries. You're yes. Okay. 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 Um, something's going on with, with Libra then on your DC. You've got a strong, you, you've got Libra features, yeah. brother. Yeah. You do. Uh, you know what's funny? Most of my friends, it's like 80% are Libras, men and women. I don't know why. Libras and Pisces, they totally resonate with me. Yeah, you have the almond-shaped uh, eyes. You've got the vertical dimples. Yeah. 
you've yeah. got you've got round very round head but aquarians aquarians as well um they have that balance as well because aquarius is the man and, right. and therefore see aries i've i'm aries with a, a leo rising so i've got the canine and the feline yeah. canine yeah. is aries by the way ovine the lamb where the lamb is is also the wool yeah 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 okay so i've got the canine see the, the animal signs they they show in your archetype mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. they, Show. See, that's why. That's why. Also, I picked Libra because I, I saw that, that there was. It was very hard to, to identify an animal. Yeah. With 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 your energy, when I put my glasses on, I wasn't paying attention to you, and then it just stood right out. You you you've got uh, you know like many Libra features, and not you know you, you don't see the animal archetype there. <clears throat> Whereas with me, you can. I mean, yeah. it's got a, a very martial, airy head, you know. Was it Capricorn Moon, yeah. Andre? Capricorn. I have, I have like four or five planets in Capricorn. <laughs> it's so funny. Capricorn. Your, your Pisces is right, uh, and Aries cusp rising really yeah. show your eyes. Yeah. It, yeah, I see that. I see it that. shows I, in your I, eyes. Yeah. 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 It's interesting, man. It's it's so interesting. You have very strong Libra in features. Where's your Venus? Uh, hold on. Taurus. Uh, your Venus in Taurus. My no 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 no. My, my Venus is. No, it can't be. I think it's in Aries. Aries or Taurus. Aries or Taurus. I have to check. Go go ahead and check real quick. It's okay. Um, Santos. After this, Erin's going to hop on and share her story as well. Erin, I know that you're watching. Um, after Andre is done, we will go ahead and have you on as well. Um, talk a little bit about what you've loved about Perium. The, the Venus is in Aquarius. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> I also had Venus in Aquarius. Yeah. Ah. Conjunct Saturn in Aquarius. My father had Saturn in Aquarius. I have I have in Capricorn and my son has sat in, in Aquarius. So what does that tell you? That my father had me when he was 29 and I had my son when I was 29. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Right on time. Perfect timing. Right before that Saturn return or, or dur during? Well, my fa father has sat in in Aquarius. I have sat in, in Aquarius right. and my son has sat in, in Aquarius. Of, of course. I, I have sat on a Capricorn. <laughs> that now that can only happen if during if, the return. Yeah, if both my father and I fathered at the age of twenty-nine, Saturn's return. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Brilliant. Well, it, it was a good return. Awesome at home too. Yeah, yeah. And he's a good son, you know. He's Libran, my son. Guys, he's I have a really bad connection. I I don't know if you can hear me, but it keeps going. Uh, Bugging. It's I don't okay, know. Andre. You, you've oh. done great, bro. Okay. We appreciate you ha uh, having you on. Uh, thanks so thank much. You. Keep, appreciate sharing your time. Here, bro. Keep sharing Platinum Health. Okay, thank you. Much love, brother. Much love great to you. you. Nice evening. Thank we'll you. stay connected. This is just the first time. Yeah. I'll put together a group text after this, Santos, with the three of us. And Andre, okay. You, you can just exit out and then uh, rejoin. Okay. If you Quick, quick. Thank you, guys. Later. Peace, Peace bro. Um, Aaron, you can go ahead and request to join any moment now if you're still watching. Um, Aaron's going to hop on, guys, and share a little bit about her story. Santos, before Aaron hops on, though, let's talk, um, number one, all the planets went direct, number one. Number two, Uranus direct. Uh, went direct as well in Taurus. Oh, yes, sir. really? Sir, oh all planets direct right now, and now Uranus direct in Taurus, the ruler uh, of Aquarius. I, I, I haven't, I haven't checked for. I'm gonna look at my chart, see where I'm at with Taurus. My that's in the ninth house. So travel, um, philosophy, 
see a, a new perhaps direction in um, syncretism. I don't know. Yeah. To me, I feel that as like, you know, w work in hum humanitarianism, right? Because Taurian is, is, is working energy, right? It's, it's, it's working it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Look at my chart then. I'll show you. Show yes. us. Aaron, right so, this, just so you know. So, um, I was watching Uranus retrograding and, and I just didn't like the fact that it is in its fall because it exalts in Scorpio, therefore it must fall in Taurus. Right. Now, now Jupiter saves the day. Wherever, wherever he goes into a, a house or a sign, he saves the predicament of this. So, well, put it this way, I haven't traveled for four years, right? overseas right. and and uranus has been here right mm. but uranus was over here when i first came to the americas so, mm. so yeah so i moved see uranus moved me and and um it just so happens in san cristobal i'm living on my sun line so my my sun line goes straight over san cristobal where i live <laughs> i need to do that huh for myself, by the way, all of that astral cartography, I need to do that. I don't know how to do all that. Yeah, I'm yeah. So, so, um, so I've got, so that's going to be good. This is good now. Um, Saturn over here is sort of putting a hold on, on, on this stuff, which is astrology, syncretism, uh, marriage, partners, um, public enemies, uh, philosophy, health service to others, partners. Now, Saturn there is, you know, well, he's, he's doing shit, you know, <laughs> just put it that way. So, but this is good for me now because when the, when, when the planets are transiting are rising, they are at, at their strength in your chart. So I, I don't have any planets at all on my eastern side, right? They're all rising. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dang, where's, where's oh, the moon, Pluto. Well, uh, the, uh, Pluto, uh, the moon. So, uh, okay, so, well, in a week's time, when the moon hits Sagittarius, um, I'll have all 10 planets all rising. So that's good that Saturn's still going to be here for another, Saturn will take about seven years to get to there. Mm. So, uh, um, he'll be going through my signs soon. My North no the North nodes are there now. So that's where all the eclipses are happening now on the nodes. So the next eclipse is going to be in Aries, April the 8th and, uh, um, March the 25th day after my birthday. So as I said, it's so easy to predict um, <laughs> eclipses uh, without, you know, any model at all. Uh, in fact, it, eclipses happen every six months. <laughs> and the nodes retrogress uh, 18, um, 30 degrees. They retrogress um, in one and a half years. So in 18 months, the nodes go through. So for 18 months, one and a half years, you'll find that the eclipses are always happening in those signs. So be but before, I remember um, two years ago, the eclipses were happening in Taurus and Scorpio. Yep. Now they're happening in Aries, Aries Libra. and Libra because it's Rahu and Ketu that yep. cause eclipses. Yep. So, um, yeah. I'm I'm glad you told me that. What else? What else has gone direct? Um, all, all of them. Saturn, all planets are direct, brother. All planets. Yeah, but was, Saturn was was retrograding, wasn't he? I believe so. so and and what was the other one that was retro? Mar Mer no, no, Mars. Mercury was, was recently. Mercury was a week ago. Yeah. So, no. Oh, Neptune. Neptune, dude. Neptune. Yeah. Yes. So not even Pluto, and Pluto is direct as well fuck oh my god this is historical dude this is historical 
Tell us, Santos, what, what is so historical no, no. about Pluto going direct? Very, very rare. This is very, 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 very rare. It's very rare. And, and you know, and, and, and yet... Uh, there are, there are... Santos, would you mind explaining while showing your face, or, or is this better? Uh, well, there are, there are tropical astrologers that would argue that... Um... That, that Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto um, were never in the Greek, Egyptian, and Babylonian system. And that's a lot of rot. This is a Jesuit lie. I've seen so many times people saying, oh, well, you're using this modern astrology. No, I'm not. This is Ptolemaic and, and Placidus. The Ptolemaic model is the one I've been teaching since I, I started my public work. I've always taught the Ptolemaic model. Mm -hmm. Even when I was using Copernican um, you know, theories or, or, or explanations, I always use this model. And what I'm looking at at my chart is tropical. And yes, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto have always been in astrology. People are like, oh yeah, but they were only discovered, you know, Uranus was discovered in 1778 and then Neptune was discovered in 1834 and Pluto was 1936 or something, right? Well, no, discovered. Come on, guys. You know, we forgot about Tartaria. We forgot that we were... It's laughable to think that they were discovered, you know. Yeah. Definitely. We've always known about Hades, Pluto. We've always known about uh, Neptune and and uh, and um, uh, Apollo. No, not not Apollo. Um, what's the other water god? Neptune and um, anyway, and Uranus. Uranus has always been the father of uh, of Saturn. Yeah. Uranus, the heavens, and yeah. the heavens is the firmament. And I've yeah. always been teaching the firmament, crystalline sea, and prima. Primum mobile model, always, 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 from the very, very beginning. Yeah. Because right. I was an astrologer and I knew that that's what, so that's why I use, and I also only use Placidus, unequal house system, because we're living on a flat plane. The earth is not moving. If, if we were on a globe, then, then equal house would be the perfect system because everything would be equal. In fact, you would never ever have anything other than 12 hour days and 12 hour mm. nights mm. all along, every day of the year, all over the planet, period, if we were living on a globe. Yep. The fact that we do get two hour days in Sweden, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and 22 hour or 20 hour nights, proves that the sun is local and it's all happening local it absolutely just proves it because you can do it with a torch and, and a ball you know mm -hmm. shine the ball on it uh, shine on the ball and you'll see that 180 degrees no matter what tilt you, you tilt that ball 180 degrees of that ball will be lit up and 180 degrees will be dark so you can't get it you can't go to if we were living on a globe, Sweden would have 12-hour days and 12-hour nights. Period. Period. Simple, simple, simple. Easy, 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 easy. Anybody can do this experiment at home. Can you uh, say that experiment one more time, Santos? What's that? What? Uh, the, the, the ball and the, and the flame. Oh, yeah, well, so, so just get a, a nice, uh, a, a big ball, right? Yeah. And get a torch. And, and and shine your torch on it and you know in complete darkness and you'll see that 180 degrees of that ball will be illuminated and no matter how much you tilt it you see look I'll, I'll just hang on very simple proofs guys very 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 simple proofs the sun is local I, it is not far so if we've got a um, So we've got the sun way over there, 93 million miles away. How the fuck does not the whole Earth, no matter what tilt you have it at, the whole 
earth all over is constantly 180 degrees always in light yep. and 180 degrees in darkness. Yep. It's, it's, it's a done deal. <laughs> the globalist false idol, the false idol of the globalists, our enemies, is Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Mm -hmm. The global agenda is the great lie. Nihilism at its peak. Trying to make you think that you're worthless. This speck of dust floating on a speck of dust. It's one speck of dusts of supposedly quadrillion speck of dusts. Now that doesn't mean that Brahma cannot have multiple different universes. Right? Well, well, this this is why, brother. This is why they they're hiding the plane that we live on because the plane is infinite, mm. and the plane has no finiteness to it at all. None. Whereas the globe is is isolated. It's a particle. It's lost in space. It has four movements and no one really knows where the fuck we're going right but they've taken us off the plane net because there are other extensions of worlds and dimensions and they're all on the same on this one same plane yep. it's on the plane of earth that all the dimensions exist but you have to know that you're living on a plane and you're standing on this plane, a planet. You're exactly. standing on Earth, you're grounded. The Earth's not flying. A sod of dirt cannot be doing 870,000 mark. It can't. Santos, would you say that extraterrestrial would mean extra terra, AKA meaning extra Earth? Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Extra so with these extra terrestrials just be from extra earth well yeah but the ones who are controlling the world that uh, now are from under the earth they're reptilian they're um uh, they're um uh, uh, they're, they're they're the nephilim the fallen ones and they are walking amongst us they I mean, if you really look carefully, you can see that they're not human. You, you can see they're vampires and cannibals. Mm. And they love, they teach their, you know, bloodthirsty diet to humans. And, and in the history books, and they say that uh, we were hunters and gatherers for, for millions of years. We've been we were carnivores. Well, um, Godfrey Higgins uh, in Anacalypsis, an uh disagrees with that he he the great historian godfrey higgins said that no culture there was never a culture in history in antiquity that ate flesh none, none. this is a, how did he prove this very, very recent, what, what, how did he travel how did he prove this this is a very recent aberration this fall this this vampirism that we're, we're, that we're, de we're doing to animals, uh, harvesting them, you know, uh, chicken liver is good for you, you know, chicken broth, um, uh, bone broth. Uh, you know, we're, we're preying on these fucking animals for shit that we don't need from them that we can get from bananas. A banana can give you more potassium, more calcium, more magnesium than you can get out of uh, bacon, for fuck's sake. And you'll keep moist. You'll keep, and not keep moist. The more moisture you retain in your body, the healthier you are. You know. I mean, look. Um, everyone's got their struggles. I've had mine. I nearly died two years ago. For fuck's sake! So I was, I was, I was skinny as a bone. So glad you're on Perium and not skinny no more. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean. I'm still skinny. I'm uh, but not, not, you know what I mean? Catabolic. <clears throat> yeah, but, I, I, but mate, if I wanted to, I could put on 10 pounds 
in a week. All I have to do is go back to normal eating. I just can't, can't do it. Don't want to. Once a week, I, I get the munchies and I eat like a freaking horse and I regret it. But the other six days of the week, food is just not interesting at all. It's not at all. And especially when, I mean, uh, most of my days, all I, all I have is, is uh, most of my days, all I have is my Purim smoothies, which is fruit and, and everything in, nourishing in Purim, you know. I'm living on that I'm, and I'm not putting on weight, uh, losing weight. Um, I used to, uh, if, I, if I fasted a day, I would lose a kilo next morning. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's it's weird, but um, but now, now since being on Perium, you're not losing a kilo anymore. No, no. This Santos, would you say that you naturally have a very high metabolism? You know, with all that fire in your chart, and so, of course, you're just naturally shredding fat off. And so, if you're not eating properly, you're not gonna build. Of course. Yeah, brother. Yes. So with the amino. That helped me a lot um, because I was taking about 15, 16, 17, 18 some days. I was just dropping them. And um, yeah, look, I'm holding the, I've got, I've got a lot of strength, you know, like, um, especially since I discovered the solar plexus and perineum mm. squeeze. I'm doing it right now. Yeah, I'm doing it too. Speaking, <laughs> my tongue is up in my palate. Yeah. Stimulating the pineal gland, mm. squeeze the perineum. The perineum is where all the creat crea creativity comes from. The gut, baby. Yeah, all the power comes from there. You know, mm. Bruce Lee, he knew about that muscle. He would squeeze that every day. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Uh, Santos, there is literally no better feeling that I feel throughout my day than about 1 to 3 p.m. I intermittent fast. Um, sometimes it's about 12 to 12 to 2 where I'm completely clear there and I can just feel that that fire I can feel the air flowing there I can just feel that charge because there's nothing there there's nothing in the way right as far as to digest and oh man it's just incredible especially yeah you bring it up Bruce of course that's why he was so powerful one of the reasons yeah and and by being pretty much a liquidarian now, mostly. Um, you, you don't get this voracious uh, hunger anymore, you know, like this agonizing hunger, you know, like, I gotta eat something, you know, uh, anger. What do they call it when you're angry and you're hungry? Hangry. Angry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, angry. Yeah, so, um, you, well, let's be honest. Most people who are hangry, they've probably got parasites. Well, see, this is the thing, man. I mean, we've been taught... I grew up eating flesh, right? Yeah. Um, and so we've been taught a diet, and, and um, it was wrong. It was, it was a wrong diet, and it's provably wrong, you know? Like, um, we're not living to 647 years like we could easily do i saw a video of a woman who looked really really like she was about uh, 45 and she was 145 yeah. jamaican she yeah. was talking she looked like me 145 years old i saw this black guy who um um he was beautiful he i uh, had the most beautiful baby face skin he was 94 and he was saying don't give your sex away to anyone. Mm. Don't, you know, put your thing in every hole you see. Yeah. It's, it's, you don't want to do that because you lose your, you lose your magnet, magnetism, your, your charisma. You lose your, you get old quickly because the guy was, was looking at him going, wow, you look fucking good for 94. How do you do it? Well, he got a crack. He got the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Stop throwing your seat away. That's how. <laughs> Keep your seed. Maintain your chi, your well, prana. Well, it's the most precious fluid in your body, right? Or is it the blood? 
Or is it the nervous cerebrospinal nervous fluid? Or is it the saliva? The four rivers in the Garden mm. of Eden. You see... Um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. say, say that one more time for us, Santos. Those four. Um, well, the, the, the semen is, is included with saliva. So okay. there, are four, there are four rivers. And they are urine, the urinary system, um, cere cerebrospinal nervous system, cardiovascular nervous system. Where was I going with that? The four, the four rivers in the Garden of Eden in your body. You, you mentioned the blood, the the CSF, saliva, urine, and your yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's why that's why young boys were sent to seminaries to become priests, right? Because um, unfortunately as well, we were also taught, you know, that this is how you have sex, you know, in the back seat of a car and you, and then you ejaculate and then whoops, uh, she calls you a month later and says she's pregnant, but she doesn't want the kid, but you do. Uh, but her parents hate your guts and don't want you to go near her. So she has to have an abortion and uh, the seminaries uh, failed to teach the boys that you can have as much sex as you want, but don't give your magic away to anybody. You don't even need to do it to, um, to procreate. You just release a bit of gas, a bubble of gas. It's called, it's, it's the, um, you know, um, the... Uh, what is it? Immaculate conception. Mm. You don't need to squander your seed. Beautiful. You don't need to, and you can have much, and, and the kids were taught how to have sex, proper sex. They were taught how to um, never, ever, ever, ever have an e ejaculation, but always have an injaculation, and and keep those fluids, keep those fluids in, loop them, cycle them. And that's how you get consciousness. And, and all the masters know this. And the perineum is the most important muscle and the solar plexor, plexus that you can actually um, um, influence. Think about it. Can, can you, um, you know, I mean, I mean there's, there's the sacral plexus will be sexual. Therefore, all the lower chakras, the solar plexus, right? When you suck your tummy in, then your, your genitalia, and then your perineum, those three, all of those, all of those generate holy energy. Mm. If one is taught properly in the seminaries. Mm. Mm. When all things are right, Santos, you know, we're having natal charts written out on being, upon being born. You know, parents are shown the natal chart to properly raise their, their child you know, to, to prepare them for what's going to come. They're, they're raised in the seminaries, how to raise their seed. You know, we're growing our own food, etc., etc. These are all things that we're going to get back to. And the humanity is coming back to as humanity is remembering how to stand on its own legs again, being in the age of Aquarius. Because that's what Aquarius is supposed to do. The man, you know, it rules the shins, because how are you going to stand up without your shins? So the man is learning how to stand on his own feet again in the yep. age of Aquarius by mastering these things like raising our seed, growing our food, living organically, you know, not doing constantly things, not constantly doing things that are, are killing us, getting out, of, getting out of our own way. You know, guys, living off of animal flesh, living off of animal products, living off of plastics, drinking our weekends away way constantly spending money contrary to investing these are self-defeating things that we don't need to participate in at all um aaron gonna go ahead and, and accept you on real quick so you could share your story uh while we got some time here thank you for being patient aaron what up julio good seeing you by the way bro we gotta we gotta do this live together 
the three of us. We gotta arrange that. Um, Aaron, I just now accepted your invite. You can go ahead and request again. Okay. Or I just invited you myself. <clears throat> Aaron's going to come on here, Santos, real quick and just share a little bit about, you know, what she's loved about Perium so far and how it's helping her where she was before, etc. What a beautiful word, pure, purium. It's like emporium, imperium, um, you know, all these beautiful words. Um, and how, how, how wonderful a food it is for um, as, uh, and people like you and I who are not interested in, you know, getting helicopters and Ferraris and, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, the best chicks or whatever and, and stuff like that it's that it's, it's all an illusion it's all it's all so so farcical that all there is is you that's it yeah you're the whole, whole universe man it, the kingdom of god is in you heavens yeah. up here yeah so the 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 individual you and me and me we will always be these two individuals we'll always we will always i will always be this guy yeah and you will always have your individuality as well but we will always be one we're still just one we're still just the one you yep. can't escape that you can never run away from the number one but but we can experience you know being in heaven if we're few Fueling ourselves with fuel that isn't, you know, conducive for our success, right? Round peg, square hole. Um, Aaron, I don't know why it's not working, by the way. I'm going to ask your request. I don't know what's going on with Aaron's. Aaron, maybe exit the live, rejoin again, and then request again. I don't know what's going on with uh, it, it not letting you join. I like how you mentioned um, Perium sounds like Imperium, Santos. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The sharp. Syncretism, baby. Fixes. That's what syncretism is teaching. Syncretism is teaching that all is one. It syncs everything together. It's it's the religion and the science of all sciences. There is nothing like syncretism. Santos, real quick, one second. Um, Aaron. Someone just commented saying that if your account is private, it's not going to work. So you have to make your account public, then um, request to join. So I would get off the live, make your account public, take it off private, make your account public, and you can make it uh, private again after the live if you'd like to, and then request to join. So just so you know, I would do that and then request to join in the, in the next couple of minutes. But it makes sense that it's not um, accepting your request because your account is private and we're all, this is a public live. So, Santos, what was the last thing that you just now said? Sorry. Sorry, I'm moving this camera, uh, the, uh, this phone around a lot because I'm noticing the battery's down to 8% and yet I've, I've, I've had it charged and I've just changed the, um, uh, the uh, the cable and now it's starting to charge up again. Okay. So I have to. Uh, I don't like. Go ahead holding... and find a way to get it set up. All good. No worries. Yeah. No I don't problem. like ho touching the phone when it's charging because it's it's toxic. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, what was the question? I don't remember. It was. I was literally just asking you what you had said last. So <laughs> no worries. Um, I told Aaron to make her account public contrary to private 
Um, yes, you can take the Zen cleanse while on Perium. Yes, you can. Aaron, just comment below whenever you fixed your account from private to public, and then I will accept your request. Until then, this is like just doing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> um, oh. What are you putting on, bro? Um, you know, I forget the name of the essential oil that I have in here. It's, it's the most beautiful perfumed oil. Um, I, I, I forget what it is, but I've had it for the last 10 years and I'm, I just felt like smelling that. And I was sniffing um, rose essential um, uh, essential oils. Just to, um, this is the highest frequency of all the essential oils, by the way, rose. <laughs> Roses. Yeah, and and it's it helps you it helps you smile and breathe. Sorry, I'm trying to tell Erin how to um fix her account so she can get live with us. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I love rose oil, man. Absolutely love rose oil. I mean you you know I was talking to you about frankincense and all that good stuff. Okay, what happened? Uh, I was one of the here in Mexico. They, they call you every day to uh, you, to go with Telcel or to go with uh, you know um, Verizon. Oh, okay. Or freaking... <laughs> and it. Oh, okay. So, I just so that that. Go up. <laughs> so they're so polite. Hello, I'm communicating from the company. Ta -ta -ta -ta. My name is uh, it's very nice. To, and I'm ding, ding. I, I just hit the red button and they're like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so I don't, I don't bother. I used to tell them, I used to get angry at them. Something, oh boy, once woof, I, regret, I, I regret what I said to them, <laughs> to the guy, the poor guy. He was like, Okay, we won't call you again then, Mr. Bonacci. <laughs> I cussed him and he's, oh my God. And, oh, it was horrible. <laughs> I, I've got no time for him. Can't. Can't, can't. Uh, honestly, man, you know what the problem is? Is we need, to, we need to have humans on the phone. We need to be speaking to humans. I know. I'd much rather speaking to humans than these bots. I know. Um, yeah. Sorry, guys. I've been trying to get Aaron on here. I don't know if it's going to work. Aaron, I sent you one more request. Uh, maybe it's just not going to work on this live. I'm not, you know, we know how Instagram is. Um, I don't know. Maybe you can restart your phone and, and try one more time or something like that, Aaron. I'm not sure. But um, so, yeah, Santo, so you know, what we were talking about, bro, you know, just topics of the live in general. Okay, so we covered Andrew's testimonial, all the planets went direct, Uranus especially, direct in Taurus. Um, there's been some pe people commenting, request, uh, commenting recently, requesting information how to detox a jab. Well, there's three things things that you can take from Purium um, to help get that spike protein out of your system. Those three things would be fulvic zeolites because the cage-like structure is going to bind to the metals and trap it within the cage-like structure. Chlorella as well. The chlorella is going to help attract the heavy metals and biomedic, the fulvic acid, the probiotics, etc., and the biomedic, those are gonna be the three things that you need and that you want to help push any foreign metals or proteins out of your system. So for those of you who possibly, you know, uh, took any type of jab or you know someone who took a jab 
and you want to you know share something to help with that write these three things down fulvic zeolites biomedic and chlorella the tablets or the powder you can get those on santos's perium website those would be the three things that I would recommend for people to take. Um, and Santos, you know, you've mentioned this multiple times recently in the last year or so, the more that I've seen you align with affiliate marketing companies, you know, making your money work for you, contrary to spending it, and it's gone. You know, how much do you, do you believe in that concept, as well as would you say that that's kind of an Aquarian type concept, you know, where we're all working together contrary to, for a boss? Well, I mean, I, I, I live that I've always lived that lifestyle. God has always provided for me. Um, I've been getting music royalties, uh, for 20 years, you know, on the 15th of every month my rent money um so and i haven't played for 13 i haven't touched i haven't played professionally since 2012. wow and, and it's paying my rent it's there's still i don't know how it, how it's but it's growing even um so so i live this, this way i don't want to boss i don't want a job and i don't want to pay taxes and i don't and I've always done this and you can see on my channel, you can see if you look at my music videos, which, have, which have, um, um, come to light of recent, uh, many of the ones that I've just published, I didn't even know existed. There's, there's about 30 of my music uh, videos of people recording me that I've put up recently. So you'll see that I lived that lifestyle, you know, mm -hmm. and so, um, I'm, I'm always wearing my, uh, I, I always, always live with my, the products. Um, since I discovered LifeWave two and a half years ago, I've never ever gone a day, oh, well, maybe a, a day or two, but every week, bang on every day, I've got my two patches on, X39, X49s. Um, uh, I'm still doing Zen, Zen healing, Zen cleanse healing. So, um, these, these uh, companies have, have helped me, um, you know, to, to, to stay healthy. And <clears throat> But not only healthy, also wealthy. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Well, see, this is how I get to be grateful for what I've got here. I've got, this place is like a palace and I'm all alone. Now that Nick and Crystal have gone, the place down below is has gone back to uh, <clears throat> uh, Airbnb. So they put my rent up. <laughs> so the contract uh, runs out in two days. So I've been here for well since February first last year. Yeah. And so I've got to sign a new contract. The rent's gone up about thirty percent, but. I'm okay. Um, I've got all these mag magnificent products. I've got music that I'm selling that, that is, is um, happening while I'm sleeping. Um, uh, the food that I live off, Purium, the company, is kind enough to say, hey, look, thanks for buying it our shit and uh thanks for uh telling everyone else about our good shit and uh here's some money so you can spend it on some shit um because <laughs> nike ain't gonna do that i don't know that adidas have a program where you get you know a slice of their sneakers um so i get healthy i get wealthy um I don't have a job. I don't have anyone nagging, telling me what to do. You know, no noise. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm not afraid of myself. I'm. I'm really comfortable with living with myself. 
It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and, you know, I mean, at times uh, I haven't had, you know, uh, felt those sentiments. Um, uh, but I think if, if, if you do surrender to your circumstances and whatever you have, you might not be having all this good help, you know, like I am, you know, I'm, 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 I'm truly the healthiest I've ever been in my life. You know, the stuff that I can do with my body and the strength that I've got is, is magical. Um, uh, and you can be wealthy and wise and um, out of the system. Um, that's the, that's the main part right there. Out of the system. Santos, how does doing things like this, making your money work for you, you know, recycling your money contrary to spending it and it's gone, how does that help you get out of the system? And how could that help anyone watching this live get out of the system? Well, the first... The first, the first thing is it's going to help their, their, their base, their foundation, which is their body, the health. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always say to people, start with two things, Purium and Zen Cleanse. Instantly. They, they both support each other. They're all about enzymes. They're all about... Um, um, cleansing. Cleansing. Nutrition. Uh, nutrition. Living foods. Voltage electricity, magnetism, uh, these are great companies. I, I wouldn't be, <laughs> I would not be, you know, like, um, uh, well, yes, I, sometimes I do have uh, people um, on my uh, page that I let them sell their wares and I don't ask for a commission. Like uh, um, there, was, there was a sister, when we were doing the academy and um she was selling syncretism shirts and i told her that's they're beautiful great that's your business i'll put that on my universal products tab for you and i don't want anything from it and i don't know whether she made a bunch of money um and i don't care but that yes i do but if i'm going to be supporting a product um you know how, how long it took me to get on to do a live about pure. It took me about a year. Yeah. Because I, I was loving it and I was saying, yeah, but. But this. A but year that. or less. No, no, it was a year. Yeah, okay. So I've been taking it for a year before I even started opening my mouth about it. Uh, yep. Right. So. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Uh, no. Uh, it was 10 months. 10 months you were on the product. But yeah, just right about there, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um, knowing, knowing that um, it's benefited me and, and experiencing it um, blesses me even more because I'm, I'm doing something out of a good, a, good, uh, a good conscious and from good karma because... First of all, we're elim eliminating the animal trafficking that's going on, which gives permission to the uh, cannibals to eat our children, which they do, and abort, and jab. All, all the process. All of those things go together. And torture. But, you know... CPS, Big Pharma, Big, ag, big, big uh, Animal Ag, they're all together. Child Protective all Services, all Big Farm, say, Animal Ag. Sorry, go ahead, Santos. All I can say to all of those entities is repent now. Repent. All of you people that are doing evil, whatever it is, whoever you are, repent. Bow down on your knees, repent. Ask forgiveness. Stop. Go the other way. Turn to the Lord. Become Christened. And, um, and, and know, know that even though we are, are individuals, we're all one. We, we can never be separated. We can never, never be. 
that There's being no, said there is no such thing as separation what's what is separated from what that being said you know participating in things like cps animal trafficking etc you're only hurting yourself you, you may think that you're hurting someone else but it's truly yourself because this other being is just a reflection of yourself why because we are the one great self it, this is what santos is saying guys he said it multiple times throughout this live we're all the one right and we have, have our individuality which is what who, makes us who we are we all have our individual natal charts and our strengths and our weaknesses and that's great you're you're the drop right but you're also the ocean and that drop is in the ocean so why hurt yourself recognize the harmony that we can have together contrary to the fr friction apart we can do more together than we can apart you want to go fast okay go alone you want to go far go together how far does humanity want to see itself go right now we're going to find out Yeah, well, we've got this one because all, all we need to do is repent and have gratitude. Every, every, everything else is an illusion. There is no past. There is no future. Everything is happening right now and it always will be happening right now. And if you're, you are listening to me right now and breathing right now, you will always be and you never will not be. Absolutely. You know, this is one of the first things that I learned, Santos, when I left the church. Well, when I left, um, not the church, Christianity. When I was studying Hebrew roots, for those of you who have been down that path, you're studying the Hebrew Israelites, etc. I, I was studying Hebrew roots in Puerto Rico for three years. I was going to a Hebrew church. And the first thing that they taught me, guys, is that Hebrews saw life as cyclical, contrary to linear. You see, in Western uh, society, we've been taught that life is linear, beginning and end. Especially, you know, we're, they, we're even, they even try to teach us that using the Bible. They try to teach us, we had a beginning 6,000 years ago. There's an end coming. You better prepare for it because you only get one chance. And if you fuck it up, you're fucked forever. That's a, a linear concept rooted in fear, ungratefulness, and lack putting you immediately into the competitive pl plane contrary to the creative plane. You can't do shit there. You cannot do shit up to your potential, what your true potential is capable of. For those of you who are really successful, you know, financially with that kind of paradigm in this world, you are minimizing yourself. Because if you truly knew the true connections about being in the now, you know, there, there is no past or, 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 pre, or, or future, it's only the present. If you knew these things, you'd really take the lid off of, off of where your leadership currently is and find out where you can go. Because these are mental shackles, these are spiritual shackles keeping us from living up to our potential, thinking that we get one chance, thinking there was a beginning and an end. You know, when we're in the now, when we know that there's the one, you can truly operate fearlessly instead of fearfully. You're right, material wealth is fleeting. People commenting. Santa, I'll, I'll be honest, Santos, you have a more grateful aura to you in this live than any live we've done together, bro. And that's not saying that the lives before were bad, or that you were bad, or whatever. But I can just see it. I can, I can, I can feel it in your aura, dude. You're working on your Taurus. I'm working on my breathing. <clears throat> um, um, not you don't work on your breathing. <laughs> um, you, you, you breathe. <laughs> you, you, yeah, just breathe. Just be, do conscious breathing. And, and that is meditation, because. When you're constantly in your breath, there's no thought. You won't be thinking. Mm -hmm. 
and that's where the mm. meditation is breathing mm. that was good you can't you, you can't try 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 <laughs> stop breathing and and meditate for an hour try, try it which comes first you breathe yourself into meditation so i'm meditating all day long because i'm reminding myself when i see myself rushing and i go ah i am my breath there is only the now yeah you have to remind yourself i mean we know things uh, sorry we have knowledge of things but we don't know things you mm. see we knowledge is not the knower and so we are to be knowers mm. not hypergnostics i mean epignostics sorry epignostics there's the gnostics and then there's the higher ones called the epignostics mm. the perfected masters and then there's the telestoi above that which are in the in the tol in the the Plato's um, Republic model of the Republic. Yeah. That they they are the levels of the people: the highly, the psychic, the spiritual, the mystical. What what are those differences, if you wouldn't mind sharing between them? Well, what were the first ones I was talking <laughs> about? Um. I'm I'm asking you, bro. <laughs> I'm done, man. My, my uh my my Jewish friend, my Hebrew friend uh here, he's an alchemist and he makes me this he, he says Santos very careful with this stuff. And I'm like, dude, you know I've had cannabis oil, I've had THC, I've had oil, I've had the strongest shit he said. Yeah, but that's this. What I make is not anything you've ever had. And if, if, if I take a, a syringe of this, mate, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's freaking powerful. Yeah, I feel you, man. And I feel you. And of course, you know, under the tongue, you know, it goes straight into the, the bloodstream. You know, much better for the system to be having tinctures contrary to smoke. Um, for those of you who are curious and don't know yet, follow Santos's new YouTube, Syncretism Magnum Opus, okay? Follow his new channel, guys. The old channel was taken down. We were working with, with uh, Rumble and some stuff like that, but that's okay. You know, we're, we're going to stick it to YouTube and really, and really uh, run it up on YouTube. And, you know, Syncretism should be known to the masses. And the masses, you know, sometimes... You got to meet the people where they're at. That's what real leaders do. Real leaders meet the people where they're at. See, see, leaders that don't understand leadership think that they got to get people to come to them. Well, you don't understand leadership. Because leadership is not about you. It's about people. That being said, most people have YouTube and have access to YouTube. So you can find Santos' channel syncretism magnum opus that's his new channel all of his old stuff will be uploaded there new stuff uploaded there this live will be uploaded there etc etc uh, um syncretism magnum opus syncretism magnum opus yeah christian love neville, neville goddard too bro love neville goddard imagination is god you know yeah. Um, when you when you think about imagination and and you look at the 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 root of this word and you start breaking this root this this word down, you know you have an image, right? And then you have in this image is in in you. This image is within you. You have an image that you're focusing on within you. And this image that's now within you, you are going to put into action the shun. Your ions are going to start getting this into action because you have it in your imagination.
But if you never have it in your imagination, you're never going to put it into action. So you got to see it up here first. Image in action. Image in action. That's your imagination. So if you want to see your, your dreams, right, come to reality, you got to imagine it first. And picture it. But also feel it. You know, be, be grateful for it because it's a feeling universe, not just a seeing universe. You know, you want to you wanna feel what it feels like before even having had it. You know, Santos is really, really diving into a grateful level of himself right now. Being just so grateful for all the things that he has around him. And it's, you know, we can all see it. And so when you have that gratitude, you know, radiating from you constantly, what are you going to attract? More people who are grateful. Why? Because your vibe attracts your tribe. And, and other people will have gratitude. Um, uh, I think that at every level of power and power systems in this archetypal world that we living everyone is being used everyone is still wardens of the jail you know if you're the rock if you're the boss you're the pope or you're the fucking king or you're the queen or you're the top person you're still a slave and you need to set yourself free from having the burden of looking after everybody else they can look the, they can look the fuck after themselves Let's mm. let live and let live. Yep. Just everybody repent and be grateful. We've got, look, I'm so happy that I've got a nose. Look, fuck, I've got a nose. I can smell perfume. This, this nose, I mean, I'm so thankful that I've got a freaking nose. It's awesome. No Inhale music. breath to smell things, to experience. The, that's the gift. That's the gift is the experience. Right? Yeah. We're just, we're just here to witness. We're, we're the witnesser. The witnesser of the dream. And dream has Rhea, the mother of all the goddesses, Saturn's consort, Rhea. Dream, dream, and reality. So, what is it? Is it re reality, Rhea, or is it dream, Rhea? Oh. Well, you see, Rhea had a son, and his name was Reason. Mm. And Reason is treason, mm. according to Greek. Think, uh, thinking why it's all in the you know the logical mind ah of course i mean it, it has its value but it's reason is treason of course like the mind is the lie mentira mente mental mentira it's it is the liar the heart Wu's taboo said, I am the fragrance of the earth, Lord Krishna. You're talking about the nose. Yeah. I am the, enjoy I am the enjoyer of the senses. I am the knower. I've also Lord got Krishna. an elbow. And I'm, I'm really in gratitude for this elbow. Look at that. Have you got one? Yeah, man. Look at that. I can be very thankful for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have so many gifts, guys, and, and that's what, again, I've said it before, I can say it a thousand times more, this is what we're here to talk about. Turning potential into performance. We've all been given gifts, we've all been given these vices and these virtues. How can we use them to the best of our ability? And be a gift, you know, because you feel best when you give, not when you take, right? You feel best to give. 
uh, a, a, a non-value adding man is a depressed man because yep. he feels worthless. If you're not adding any value, you're going to be completely depressed. Whereas when you're adding value, you're, you're going to be in bliss. You're going to be in heaven. You're going to be, you're going to be in heaven on earth. You can add more value by working on yourself. If you, you want to get more value from the world, all you have to do is become more valuable. Jim Rohn said that. And Jim Rohn also said, he reminded me about what Santos said earlier, earlier, I'll work on me for you. No, he said, he said, I will take care of me for you if you take care of you for me. Because we have this misconception that we have to take care of everyone else. Yeah. That's a misconception. The yeah, yeah, that was that was something I was doing, and I've just realised that everybody's drama is not my drama. So I do get messages every day for for the last thirteen years, every day from from people who have legitimate, you know, horrible things happening in their lives. Yeah. And I tend to take that on, that energy on. It, it, it impacts you. I mean, if, you're, if you've got any empathy, you, you're not going to, you know, you're not cold-blooded. You're not just going to, you know, um, respond. You know? Uh, so, but what I've, what I've had to do is, is I've had to learn more how to let that drama unfold in that individual's life without getting connected. Because I went to jail twice for trying to help other people. That, that time I went to jail for contempt of court, I, was, <laughs> I, was, I did that because... I'll tell a story one day, but anyway, it was to, to help someone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's the thing, though, guys. You know, you, you don't got to get involved in everyone else's stuff. That's what Jim was saying in that saying. I'll take care of me for you so that you don't have to take care of me. Because if I don't have my shit together, well, if you love someone, you know, someone that is, is loving and giving, well, Offer to take care of you, help you in a, in a helping situation. But when that becomes a habit, that becomes a problem. This is why we have to take care of ourselves. And this is why we can give more when we have more ourselves. If you want your cup to run it over, you've got to fill your cup. Your cup's not running it over right now because your cup is empty. You're making everyone else first. you got to fill your cup. Well, what's your cup? What should your cup consist of? Electromagnetism and gratitude. That's what it should consist of. Great, great, grateful electromagnetism. You should be grateful for consuming electromagnetism and the opportunity to express your gifts all day, every day in this world. That's the food that Santos, you know, eats. You know, when he's having a power shake, he's basically drinking electromagnetism. And as he's drinking it, he's grateful for the life force within it so that he can be, share syncretism, be self, live, breathe, be grateful. Yeah, look, um, when, you, when, you're, uh, when you're grateful, um, you're way more peaceful and less stressed and much, much, much healthier. And the technology these days is designed to stress you out. It's at a frequency which is not very bio-friendly, deliberately. Yes. Okay, so we're, we're all, look, these eyes, it's, I'm so. I don't know if you're in the dark, by the way, bro. If you could get under some light, yeah, okay, that's much better. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, the, for, for, for 20 years, I've been doing at least 12 hours every single day for 20 years in front of the computer. And I can still see the leaves on the trees on the misty mountains way over there in clear def definition. I wear these $2 things just so I can read small shit, you know. But um, I'm pretty, pretty lucky, you know, to, to have that. And... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I was, uh, I was we'll, we'll, just thinking, bro, how our, in our last live, your eyes, you, you were in the sun directly, and they were like bright orange. They looked like just two balls of fire. Yep. yep, they're very orange, my eyes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, my son's got blue eyes, and his mother had green eyes. Oh, wow. wow. My son's a blue-eyed boy, blue-eyed son. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's just, it, I love it. I, I loved it from the first, the moment I saw him coming out of his mum. He had, a, it was a caesarean. So he was all, he was all grey because of the, uh, you know, the, the fluids. Yeah. So they pulled him out and I was the first one to see him and they, they pulled him out away like that it was like wow you know and i knew i knew that his eyes were special that's amazing yeah got the sun glowing in them yep my blue-eyed young son awesome man well bro we've been been on here about two hours um all right aaron let's let's call hold on. Real, real quick real quick i'm gonna i'm Aaron, I don't know if you're still on. I'm going to try to accept you one more time. I don't know if it is going to let you. I don't know. Um, if not, though, guys, a few things we talked about today. I'm just going to review one more time. You know, we talked about Andrew's testimony, Andre's testimonial, um, how much he's loving Perium, he's a personal trainer, killing it, you know, squatting and benching, squ squatting and deadlifting three times his weight as a plant-based personal trainer. Um, on Perium, absolutely loving the results that he's getting, sharing it with people, how they're feeling as well. Very wise man. If you guys didn't see him earlier, Mr. Astro Theology 5 is his handle. Go ahead and give him a follow. He's over in um, Slovakia, so that was awesome. Thanks for coming on, Andre. Uh, we talked about how all planets are now direct. There are no planets in retrograde anymore. All planets are now direct. That's beautiful. So time to move forward, right? Not be thinking backwards. Time to move forward. Time to take action. Also, these, you know, Uranus and Taurus. Uranus direct in Taurus. Let's get to work. Let's put it to use. Let's get busy. Let's till the ground. Grow. Love. All of it. Put, put it to work. Now is the time to take advantage of the opportunity, not sit on your talents. You want to see... You know, you want to bear fruit, you got you to gotta sow that seed. Uranus is telling you right now, go sow that seed. The jab detox, fulvic zeolites, chlorella and biomedic, guys. Fulvic zeolites, chlorella, biomedic. You want to detox a jab, take those three things. Santos, one more uh, time, if you could, really just lay it across for people about why and how we need to be working for ourselves and making our money work for us contrary to spending it and it's gone. You know, when you spend your money on Perium, you know that money's coming back to you. When you spend your money on X39 or, or the life patches, that's coming back to you, right? Anyone can do this though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. So, um, and then we'll end with this. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I, I I never um, contemplated ever what I was um, you know uh, going to do for a job. You know, I've never sort of worried about not having a job and things like that because I had I had value. Uh, I was a musician, mm. so I just was playing playing my music and lived off of that. Mm. Um, you know. 
I was always doing my own things. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't do it any other way. I'm, I'm only going to support companies that have, have got good products because that's that's how we should go back to the old-fashioned way of doing it. Good products and that look after you so you, that you don't have to, um, you know, have an alarm clock. Santos, actually, now that you're talking about that, this this feels like an Aquarian concept, actually. You know, this social economy where we're all helping one another grow and it's very humanitarian. It's very all about the people, contrary to the guy at the top. That's what other companies are, right? Is the guy at the top makes all the money, not managers, not assistant managers. Whereas here, anyone can make money together based on work. And Aquarius, guys, is all about friends and humanitarianism and standing on your own two feet. So <clears throat> you can stand on your own two feet again economically by making your money work for you and recycling your money. Recycling your money because your money comes back to you when you are representing a product that you love and that product will pay you for sharing it. That's recycling your money. But if you share, you know, Sun War, you share Walmart, you share Target, you share any of these you know, big movies that are coming out. None of these companies are going to give you a check for recommending shit. Not, not only that, number one, but number two, they added barely any value to these people's lives. Whereas Perium is going to give you life force, health, health and wealth. Really appreciate y'all's time. Um, Santos, any final words? Any final words about the new moon coming up? Chinese New Year? We can talk about that in the next one. Is that going to be um, the... The next uh, new moon. Serpent. You're the dragon. Yeah? A dragon. Yeah, dra dragon. A dragon. Yep. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Libra. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that in the next yeah, one. Thank you, Lee, bro. Okay. Right. Cool. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks, guys. Take care. Much love.